Okay, and oh, uh, started the fight. We've got more dialogue. Great. Listen to me. Do not let a single command soldier escape our grasp. Sweep the entire town. Arrest anyone suspicious. General McGuire. So there's a group of vigilantes who want to help us. What shall I tell them? Listen. Hmm. Very well. Let them do as they please. Yes, sir. Pardon me. Are you the commander of these forces? I am. And who are you? I'm captain of the boat to see more head. My name. My name's Nazar. I stopped by to accomplish some brief piece of business, but your soldiers are now preventing me from setting sail. I need to leave this place. I apologize for the inconvenience, however, we are trying to stop some Cremain soldiers from escaping. To that end, we need the cooperation of all citizens, ship captains included. My ship is a simple merchant vessel, sailing under the flag of the Begnion Empire. If I present such documentation, surely it will prove I have no ties whatsoever with Cremain. Under Dane rules, such Begnion papers are nothing more than fish wrap. Yet, you caught with yourself, Mazur, correct? You protest too loudly, Mazur, and we may think you're a Crimean sympathizer. If that were to happen, who knows what unfortunate fate might your simple merchant ship. I see, so be it. You there, soldier. Sir. Strengthen the watch on this ship. That man is up to something. I can feel it. An evil is spamming me. <laughs> no matter what happens, that ship must not be allowed to set sail. Burner and sinker first. You're going burn and sink. Logic error. That shit game. <laughs> now then, where's our special guest? I'm right here, General McCoy. Oh, Sir Black Knight, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. No, I just arrived. Let us proceed. I would hear your report. There are no problems whatsoever. I have nothing to report, save the tedium of it all. The farther west we travel, the weaker the Crimean fighting spirit becomes. Each town displays less and less resistance. Now they literally throw wide the gates at first sight of our approach. With duty as humdrum as this, I worry that my troops may become sloppy and lose their edge. As a fellow warrior, I can sympathize with your plight. I thank you for your understanding. This town was not scheduled for subjugation until much later. Tell me why you're here now. Yes, as to that, mere days ago a castle that held Crimean prisoners of war was attacked and the captives freed. The perpetrators were Crimean soldiers accompanied by subhumans. According to our intelligence reports, their trail led here. I see. The Princess of Crimea is said to have fled to Gallia. If we can capture this band, we may gain information on her location. Do you require my assistance? I thank you for the generous offer. However, if you were to enter the fray, we could be over in a twinkling. My men are starved for combat. I would beg your restraint so they may be allowed some entertainment. As you will. The field is yours. Turn your soldiers loose and may their blades run red with glory. Your graciousness is greatly appreciated. Good luck, Eric. You'll be fine. As for me, I think I'll play a little game of cat and mouse with these day in fools. Guy and subhuman, after him! Don't let him get away! Yeah, okay then. Everyone move out for the harbor. Try to avoid conflict with the local vigilante group if you can. Let's go. Now, I've, I've been told if you go through this stage without killing any vigilantes, you get a bonus for it. It's you, you get like bonus XP if you fulfill certain conditions on a stage. There's four vigilantes. One, two, three, and four. Basically any of them with that symbol. So the thief is going to break into houses, so we need to stop him. While at the same time not killing him if we want this bonus, if it exists. There'll be a good chance to find out if it exists or not. Because I don't know for sure if it does or not. Right, there's an eye up there, then. Okay. Yeah, Voke, Voke's fine for fighting these guys. Just having blocked the house off. Someone's better sending north to help with Ike, but these horses will go to wherever the most people are usually. So I'm trying to lure them different way. Right, I'm going to test if you do get a bonus for not killing any vigilantes, so I'm sending Leaf this way. Like this house, you do not want to be near this house in a few turns. So make sure that you're nowhere near it. That's for these guys. 
and see how many we can take out. We're relying on a critical here. We've only got a 14% chance. Let's use my flag, which is 23. Let's go for a critical. Here we go. <laughs> nice. And we got it. Why is that noise? I hear a strange noise on my headphones. How much damage does that guy do? Nine and nine. Yeah, I'm safe. Well, I'll have a mist over here because we might need some healing. Do, do. Hey, are they really subhumans about? Oh yeah, no mistake about it, and they'll soon as kill you as look at you. Where are they? They're over there, cunning beasts. We're just about to start flushing them out of hiding. I see. If you find one, be sure to give me a call. I like that guy. He came to our little town just for a chance to hunt subhumans. Oh, did he? Spoilers? No, he didn't. Miss me. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Ow. Pokey. Must be. Uh, characters that I've been asked to use, uh, Voke and Nephany. I've been asked to use another one, but we haven't got her yet. Yeah, I do use characters if someone requests them. Though those guys are mercenaries, not vigilantes, so I think it's okay to kill them. Yeah, got the horses going down. If the horses go through the middle, it creates a really big problem. Because you just get massively overcrowded. Whereas if you divide them up like that, some through there, some around here, it's a lot easier. So now I can send Sorin up and help Ike fight these guys off. Right, he needs, he needs a push. One square push. Oh, wrong way. I don't mind if Sign can kill that guy, we're okay. And he can't, crap. Come on, add it. Or critical. Either, come on. No. <sighs> let me down, Sign, let me down. Let me down. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, let's try and lure these guys out one at a time. What's his move? Six. 